somebody else helped me get to this next level. And you know what? This level feels so good. Well, he was angry, he was homeless, and he was refusing help. And that Dallas man says it took getting hit by a car to turn his life around. And tonight he tells our Robbie Owens about the people who never stopped reaching out until he finally took the helping hand and why he's so grateful they didn't give up. It's all new for you at 6. I told how good y'all been to me, man. Willie King is enjoying a homecoming of sorts. I had thought that it wasn't no more good people really in the world because I was so down on my luck. But every day I woke up, every day I woke up, these people helped me. Made more special when you consider that this time last year, he had no home. King was a card-carrying member of the angry, hard-to-help homeless. I didn't have to be outside that dumpster. I, I was just belligerent, out of control. Officer Terry Brookings was one of many who tried to help him at the MLK Community Center. I reached out to his brother. Uh, he, he cussed his brother out. He didn't want anything to do with his brother. And brother tried to help him. Everybody tried to help him, but he re refused. I don't want to be bothered. Leave me alone. But it was more embarrassment than anything. Did I mention that the homeless veteran was also going blind? Some people, they don't get a second chance. And I got more than a second chance because I got hit by a car three times. Each time I could have been dead on all three times. But guess what? I'm still standing here. God had to be somewhere in that mix. The third hit and run crash likely saved his life. Baylor doctors discovered a grapefruit sized tumor pressing on his brain. He survived the surgery and then. I made a conscious decision then to straighten my life out, not only for myself, but to make my family proud of me too. Now he lives with his younger brother, and instead of grit, he's full of gratitude. The only reason I'm still here right now is because of this center and my brother. I like to hug them all, all, all day long. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel wonderful now. In Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. Fate. Right. Absolutely. Sometimes it's just fate. It's and human will and heart and love. I mean, that is a gripping story. What a guy and boy, what a support group. Absolutely.